Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. Congratulations to Superfly Curry tonight. Um, he deserved it. He got his first finals MVP. Him, Peyton the second, Wiggins, Jordan Poole basically took the game over. Clay made some buckets here and there. Draymond was being the triple single, but he made it out the triple single. He had over like 10 some rebounds. He actually did something. <laughs> Instead of just cussing everybody out, looking like the oldest man out there. You know. So this is this is the thing that I've been saying the whole time is that Boston's problem is they just do not know how to close. They don't know how to close. And it's mind-boggling to me how they don't even know how to do it. Jason Tatum played like absolute crap this whole series. All they needed from him was some buckets down the stretch. He couldn't do that. Jalen Brown was trying to bail him out along with Al Horford. But see, they were putting up empty calories. Draymond hit two shots. You know, hit two open shots, which, you know, was good. You know, Tatum was awful. Tatum only put up 13 points. <laughs> but you supposed to be Kobe. He thought he was Jason Bryant. Uh, he lying. He thought he was Jason Jordan. Uh, that a frauding. <laughs> right? You can't be talking about you, Kobe, and this and that, and you haven't even proven nothing. What have you proven? Huh? What have you proven? You haven't proven nothing. You came out there and played some of the weakest basketball I've ever seen from anybody. Now, early on, you know, he did what he could do, but this is the problem with the Celtics. I'm not even going to go to individual stats. Let's look at the team stats because the team stats tell you everything you need to know about the game. This is how we used to watch the games back in the day and judge it. Okay, you guys had 22 turnovers to their 15. The points in the paint, they were winning by offensive rebounds. They beat you 15 to 11, so they got four more extra possessions than you did, right? Right? Then you guys from the three-point line was shooting 39%. You guys attempted 28 when you should have been going inside more. You know, this, this just shows you they're not ready for the big stage. Jalen Brown dropped 34. Horford had 19. Where was Jason Bryant? He lying. He had 13. The chef went for 34, but his 34 more meaningful. Clay didn't have a good game, but they didn't need Clay to have a good game. Jordan Poole and um, Gary Payton the second covered him up. Otto Porter Jr. covered him up. So they were good. Andrew Wiggins did his thing down the stretch. And that's how you win it. 
So I don't want to hear no more of this crap from Boston fans talking about this and that. No, you have two Scotty Pippins on your goddamn team. Two Scotty Pippins. Two of them. You got two. But whose fault is that? That's yours. I kept telling you guys, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown are Scotty Pippins. That's all they are. If Tatum could have gave them 20-some points tonight, they could have won this game. But they didn't. They did not do what they were supposed to do. Were they? Now, let's talk about the winners. Um, Steph Curry, to me, uh, today's player, is he the best player now? I keep telling y'all, he's the he has the greatest impact. But when healthy, um, Kawhi Leonard is the best player. I mean, that's just facts. You know, you can hate, you can get mad, but you got to tip your hat off to Curry, though, because people forget Curry was not chosen to be up here. He wasn't like LeBrownies. He wasn't. He wasn't at all. Was he? Everybody thought Steph would come in the league and he would just be a spot-up shooter. But in this era, you have to give it up to Steph Curry. In this era. Now, all time, um, do I put this Warriors team up there high on my list? It's hard. Because could they beat the Spurs from the 2000s? Could they beat the Shaq and Kobe Lakers? Could they defeat the um, Kobe and Powell Lakers? You know. For this era, this team is probably the greatest team of this era. That we've seen in a long time. But it's kind of hard. To put them above. Some other teams. Now they're better than. Now they're better than the. Um, the, the Laker team that Kobe was on. With Powell and them, but the um, but the problem they would have with that Lakers team with Powell is the size. Could they beat the Miami Heat team? That one, that screw job against the Mavs. I think so. But, see, the game was played different. Now everybody plays to the three-point line. They play outside in. You know. But, um, 
You got to tip your hat off the chef. I call him Superfly. Because he sure was playing like it. Got to give him credit. Now, would I put Steph in my top 50 greatest players of all time? No. It's no diss to him. But you know what? I think he's in the top 60 some. Because I look at how can I translate his game? Could I translate his game to any era? And that's all I was saying. I don't think so. You know, you got to understand. There was no such thing as two-way players in the 2000s or the 90s, 80s, or 70s. Guys played both position. Guys played both sides of the ball, or they was gonna be on the bench. So, you know, these guys didn't play well enough. But um But looking at the game stats, you know, like I said, the turnovers, that's what killed them. And the points off turnovers, that's what also killed um the Celtics. Then defensively, they just laid down. They laid down. So you know how it is. But um, shout out to Chef Curry. Superfly Curry winning his first finals MVP. Well deserved. Um, I could see them. Could I see them winning again, again next year? Uh, I don't know. We'll see. They have a chance. Um, but are they gonna sign um are they gonna sign pool back? You know, that's the thing. You know, are you gonna sign um Jordan Poole? So, you know. <laughs> Excuse me. But yeah, that's just how it is. You know what I'm saying? So, this finals, do I say it's one of the best? No, nah, this was a terrible finals. But um, just congrats to the Warriors, though. They did their job. So, let me know in the comment section, you know, what you thought about the game. Um, Like I said, Boston, 
They were terrible, maintaining the ball, trying to keep everything together. And it happened. You know. That's just how it is. You know. But shout out. Shout out to Andrew Wiggins, too. You know, Andrew Wiggins stepped up and showed himself. So, thank you guys, man, for listening. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this. Hit that notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications. And if y'all love what y'all hear, y'all can go to the link in the description box. That'll take you to my cash out. You guys can... um. You guys can um, donate whatever your hearts desire. When we have a live or premiere video, you guys can also super chat. And um, also, man, if you guys want to leave a super thanks, you can do that as well. It's like super chat, except it's not live. So thank you guys, man, for listening and your support. We out. Deezy.